Hi, I'm Sean Conway. You guys may know me because last year I became the uh, first person to swim the length of the UK, Land's End to John O'Groats. I've also cycled it, so to complete the world's first ever length of Britain triathlon, uh, this summer I'm going to be running John O'Groats back down to Land's End, solo and self-supported. You guys have been asking me what kit I, uh, I'm taking on the run, so I just thought I'd run you through a quick video of all the kit I'm taking in a little rucksack and a little hip bag. Uh, going pretty lightweight, so uh, this is what I'm taking. Right, first up we have here is a Yeti Passion One sleeping bag. This is an amazing sleeping bag. It weighs in at under 300 grams. I believe it's the world's lightest sleeping bag, um, but it really is small and lightweight and can fit in a rucksack easily. Then, because it's only a plus 15 sleeping bag. I thought I'd just get a standard silk liner. This helps keep your sleeping bag clean as well. And also if it's a bit colder at night, you just have that extra layer of protection. Moving down, I've gone for a, a tarp instead of a bivy or a tent. This tarp also acts as a poncho. So when it's raining, I've got my rain jacket and then I can sleep under it. The reason I've gone for a tarp instead of a bivy or a tent is in a bivy, if it's raining, you're stuck in a little cocoon all night uh, and tents are a little bit too heavy. This is only 250 grams, so uh, it means if it is raining, I can put up the tarp and actually uh, sit up and read a book in the evening. Then to put up the tarp, I just got some old tent pegs I found uh, in my storeroom. I cut them down really short, so I cut three of them down to half length. At the end of, of each one, I've just sort of taped on a little clip so that actually I can uh, put some rope on there and, and put up the, uh, the tarp. So um, pretty simple, got a little carabiner there and that should uh, keep me safe and dry at night. Now here we have just a bit of a ground sheet again from an old tent. I just cut out minimal ground sheet to uh, put under my camping mat so I don't get wet. Got a few spares here, a bit of tape in case I get some blisters, toothbrush, toothpaste, all in my sort of little wash bag there. Travel towel, I actually even cut this one down to make it as small as possible so that I didn't have to take up too much space in my, in my rucksack, but that's just obviously to dry myself when I go for a swim, obviously. Here we have a mosquito net. This is for the midges in Scotland. It's only 84 grams, pretty lightweight, but very important to, uh, for a good night's sleep up in Scotland. Finally in the sleeping department is a little camping frame. It's a Climate x Light camping frame. It's extremely lightweight, 170 grams, uh, really small as you can see. I took this mat around the world, so actually it is really, really comfortable and pretty happy with it all along. Finally I have some tent pegs and rope to put up my tarp, obviously, for the evenings. Moving on to the drinking department here, I have a fresh 2.0 filter. This is amazing, you can put muddy water in here and it'll come out there at a normal flow rate uh, and give you clean, clean water. It really is amazing technology. Uh, fresh 2.0 soya, these guys make them, so I've got that. And a second bottle carrying about 1.5 litres uh, at the max. Don't want to have to carry it too much water, it's quite heavy. And the syringe here is just to clean the, uh, the filter if it gets a bit clogged up. Moving on, because I'm doing this run dressed as Forrest Gump, I obviously had to have the gut Bubba Gump cap. So I'll be wearing that for the uh, entire route. Got some bamboo sunglasses. These are pretty lightweight and just very cool. That's why I'm wearing those. Here, got some headphones for running with. Bit of a spork to eat my dinner. Swiss Army knife, because you always need a Swiss Army knife. I've then got a spot tracker. This will link to my website, runshawnrun.com. It'll go off every 10 minutes, so uh, come and find me. Here, yeah, just got a bit of a little tripod for my iPhone so I can do some videos and take some photos because it's important for me to document all my adventures because, uh, believe it or not, your memories do fade and having photos and videos is the one way to relive your, your adventure later on. Got a waterproof case, a Life Edge waterproof case for my iPhone. Uh, that can go right underwater, so at least I'll save my iPhone from getting wet. 
so that I can set up camp at night and run in the dark. Got a just a standard head torch. Decided to go for a AAA battery one instead of a rechargeable one, just so I can get batteries along the route. I also have a neck scarf just in case it's it's really cold, uh, and a Sunto watch just to help me with altitude and temperature and things like that. Uh, for the, uh, the the geek in me wants to know those things, so that's why I have that. Finally here. I have the little flying cow. This is my, it's been my adventure mascot for the last few years. Uh, he even has his own Twitter account, at Adventure Mascot, so uh, he'll be joining me on my run as he has done on all my other adventures. I obviously need to power everything en route, mainly my, my phone. Um, I've got the Freeloader Isis here, which has a built-in battery that will be strapped to the front of me. I also have another solar power on my rucksack, which I'll show you in a bit. Now to the clothing. Here I have a Canada Goose down jacket. These are incredibly warm. I, if it's really cold at night, I'll wear that. I might sleep in it. But this goes down to sort of minus 10, so I, I should be good in the, in the cold. Just wearing a good old yellow standard shirt. It's probably not ideal, but it's the closest thing I could find that looked remotely like what Forrest Gump wore and that's quite important for me. Then I've got the normal Forrest Gump red boxer shorts, running shorts, got these on eBay and to go with it I got some matching underwear. Um, I later found out that these were from an adult site on eBay so that's now on my purchase history forever which is nice. To my running shoes, these are the most comfortable shoes I'm using at the moment, they're not trail shoes uh, I'll probably go through a few pairs as I go along. Where does all this kit go? Finally, we've got my rucksack here. Now, I love this old rucksack. It's an old leather rucksack uh, made in India. It is definitely not the lightest rucksack in the world, um, but I have so much other light gear, it uh, allowed me to, to have this rucksack. Um, and because it's not waterproof if it rains, I've got a little rain cover here. On the top you can see another freeloader supercharger, there's another solar panel which plugs into the battery pack uh, and a bit of a light for running at night in case uh, so people can see me. I also have a little a hip bag, so on here will be my phone, carry some energy bars and various things just to spread the weight around my body uh, so that it's all not on my, my rucksack. Oh cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Where you gonna run to? All on that day, will I run to the rock? Please hide me and run to the rock. Please hide me and run to the rock. Please hide me, Lord. All on that day. So, there we have it. Pretty much everything I'm taking uh, into one small bag and a hip bag. All in all, including the clothing I'm wearing, is about 6 kgs. Probably could have got it near 5 with a lighter rucksack, but 6 kgs is still not too bad, I think. And that's weighing everything. Watch, sunglasses, the work. So uh, that's my setup. Keep in touch, guys. RunShawnRun.com from the 9th of August for six weeks. And if you can come find me, it'd be great to see you. Cheers. It was bleeding.